Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to West of Loathing. Can I just say, I'm enjoying this a lot. It's such a stress-free game, for the most part. The combat might get stressful, I'm sure, but for the most part, it's pretty stress-free and it's just a fun time. Here lives Dave B. Died with his boots on, but not his pants. Oh. Brown boots? That sounds like stuff I could use. Sure enough, boots, but no pants. <gasps> One max AP, that's actually pretty good. I wish there was a way you could, like, hover... Do I have to plug a mouse into the switch or something? Here lives Dave C. Oh, I guess I don't have to. Here lives Dave J. Wrap up a pow. Went down in a theater. I guess we can fight these. Go these skeletons. So what are my stats? 7-7, seven, seven, armor 1. S increasing my armor right... Seven is insane. Uh, sure. The skeleton of a Dave. Let's take a massage. Let's take a message. Of sort of oh. How do we level up Pete, I wonder? Can we level up Pete? Hi, Pete. We got an item skeleton. <gasps> Maybe I need that for the dog? I didn't even think of that before. Oh, this fellow has a piece of lumber, it looks like. Give me the... I have two action points now! Oh, but they have a high resistance. Hmm. That's good to know, though, I guess. I can do magic spells on things that don't resist my magics. <laughs> I love Pete's noises. Eight hot damage. That doesn't seem to be something that cares much for. Wait, can I keep buffing my myself with Pete's skill? Gold tooth skeleton bone. I have two of these now. Okay. Here lives Dave L. Died of a heart attack. See you in negative 36 years. Oh. What? He was looking to the sky to save him, but even the sky can't save a feller from like 40 angry bears. Oh no. Oh boy. It looks like the grave digger left his lunchbox here. Free lunch. You got Vienna blood sausages, a thermos of spiked coffee. And they said there was no such thing as free lunch. Oh, I got two of these. Speed. I mean, I guess I could. How do I know which affects liver? When you work deep underground, it's hard to keep track of whether it's appropriate time to drink whiskey or the appropriate time to drink coffee. Eventually, you just stop trying. So I'm guessing stomach is food. Liver must be alcohol. I don't know what... Hmm. Stomach capacity, spleen capacity, liver capacity. Well, I have two of these. I guess I could just eat. Let's see. Ah, so that's liver. Miner's alertness. Okay, cool. Do I have any other things, food I have doubles of, maybe I could consume? No. What does this do? Plus one speed, okay. The bones, these bones are jumping around to beat the dickens. Beat the dickens out of them. Oh, he's got a... Chef's hat? Target a smart looking skeleton. Wow, this thing has high defenses, or high, I guess, fire defense? So if I do this once, you can do it, you slam jammer. Oh, you're a magic user. You're a bean slinger. Oh, I guess so. That means physics. So can I do this again? Oh, I can do it again! I can make myself ridiculous! Although, my spooky resistance is... not a lot. Another bone. Here lives Dave D. The truth was out there, it killed him.
It's one of those big things, you know. One of those, it's one of those big things they have in mausoleums, you know. One of those big marble things with drawers full of skeletons. I'll fight one. The skeleton of Dave Autry. Oh. Oh, Pete, we gotta level you up, bud. Can I? Let me see if there's instructions, in information on that. How to level up Pete. What? Was it Pete Angle? What was that? Of. Oh, West of Loathing, how to level up Crazy Pete. Pete only levels up upon finding random things during random events while wandering. Oh. Only level up once in each region and not in region A. I'm guessing we're in region A. Leveling will only happen after about... So how do we know what regions we're in? Hmm. Another bone and some experience. Oh, wait. How much experience? <gasps> Outfox and two. Hmm, the jump isn't as much for that, but maybe. All right, um, give me. Hmm. Elemental attacks might be good. What is spooky considered, I wonder? I could get this. Yeah. Okay, that'll work, I think. Let's see if let's see if that changed much. Do you just get 10 XP every time you fight one of these guys? I have three action points now. Wow. Let's scream this solo. Ay ay ay, ay Pete. Can we really not? Okay, we're gonna just we're just gonna relegate Pete to support roles because he won't last long in combat. A handful of loose teeth. Ooh. That's not what I wanted. Five meat. Okay. You could sell them to a dental student. I mean, mysticality. I mean, I guess you could sit here and farm these if you really wanted to. For whatever that's worth. Dare I try a big fight? I want to try a big fight. Just see what that's like. Alright, so we got three fellows. Shields. All right, who takes? Oops, I didn't even. I was. I should have read that first. All right, Pete, you won't survive this round, I'm sure. Called it. Ah, you're dangerous. This may have been a mistake. This was a mistake. Oh, he whiffed at least. Oh, if I can just take care of that guy. Okay. Okay, so that guy can't even hurt me. Can I kill this one fast enough to not get killed myself? Maybe, if this guy keeps whiffing. Dave Maynard? Oh, I didn't even see that was his... Okay, I don't know if he'll indefinitely keep whiffing on me, but... Please don't hit me. I'm so nervous he's gonna hit me and just, like, insta-kill me. Okay. Alright, big fight was a gamble. But I did get a lot of experience out of that. It would be much easier just to do three of the little fights, though. Alright, what do I want to increase? How much does this cost? 300. 400 for that. Maybe I should increase Hellbender once, just to have. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just increase everything to two for now. And then work on getting it to three. Alright. No, wait, I wanted to look at... Oh, hold on. Alright. 
big stone sarcophagus. This is a pile of mostly burned rags that maybe used to be a person. Investigate. Oh. You dig through the rags and find a few things that look like worth keeping. Gore splattered scroll, human ashes, some kind of receipt here. Robe receipt. Some kind of ritual circle drawn on the ground in red chalk. Receipt for delivery of 150 black silk robes. Sounds pretty ominous. Necromancer journal. It's time you started gathering clues about the whole preambulating dead situation that's going on around these parts. You grab a notebook and paperclip the receipt to the first page. Oh. Collection of clues you've acquired. Oh. West of the mountains. Good to know. Okay. Uh, this is a human in the final stage of that whole ashes to ashes thing. Well, part of one at least. A human gets harder to keep track of when it's in powder form. It's cremated earthly remains of a person. Someday they'll refer to these as cremains, but you will not approve. I'll leave them alone for now. The scroll is almost too covered in blood and viscera to read. Luckily for you, you have gotten all that practice reading inside of a dog. What? You scrape the largest of the giblets off of the scroll and read it. It's to take a pile of human ashes, spread them out in the shape of a person inside a red chalk ritual, then sprinkle them with stardust and in place a mostly perfect or better glass sphere where the heart would be. Anyway, that's the gist of it. The actual text is a lot more these and those and such is like that. Plus there's a bunch of weird gibberish you're supposed to say out loud while you're doing it. Oh. Uh, Stardust and a perfectly... Hmm. Okay, so I don't have a mostly perfect sphere. Do I? Uh, no glass spheres. And I also don't have Stardust. Oh. The truth that they killed him? Murdered by a different fella named Dave G. You got an item skull with an odd tag on it. It's mostly just boring broken bones, but you do find a skull with a weird tag on it. This skull has a little paper tied to it which has Intercemetery Loan on one side and some notes on the other. The tag on the skull has a serial number and says it was borrowed from the submission catacombs on February 19th, 1886. Jeez, this thing is really late. The bag of the tag has the catacombs address on it. You discover a new location, old mission. Skulls, check them out. Okay. Oh, we can just go back to Dirtwater, huh? Oh, wait, no, Dirtwater isn't... I was thinking it was the first town. Ooh, there's stuff up here. Let's wander. Your keen eyes detect a secluded cave in the near distance. Exploring it would definitely be a good use of your time. Shaggy Dog Cave. Oh, okay. There's a plague bolt of the cave while here. Read it. A record, a record of the events of Expedition Toe and into Shaggy Dog Cave. Of oh, two and into Shaggy. Okay. Jim Plackwright. Okay. Having acquired through various and sundry means a story which is interesting in its own right, but better saved for another time, a map purporting to lead to a large cache of jewels and ingots of precious metals hidden by the infamous highwayman and train robber Black Cole Jr. In the years before the cows came home, I, Jim Plackwright, along with three compatriots, these being Nathaniel Wyman, Cyrus Howard, and Douglas Watts, set out to find Shaggy Dog Cave and the aforementioned treasure. Oh, is this going to be a long, just... Nonsense. Okay. Our equipment and provisions consisted of one cart and a horse to pull it. Four additional horses to be ridden, two shovels, a spade, a mining pick, a large coil of rope, one large basket of eggs, as well as an assortment <sighs> ah, excuse me, of other trail provisions and cookware. My own collection of blank plaques and engraving tools, one large and shaggy dog, and a butt for. Oh, is this going to end with what's a butt for? After traveling for two and a half days to the south and east, we arrived at a small town named Dirtwater, the largest settlement in the vicinity of Shaggy Dog Cave. 
leaving the dog to watch the horses, the four of us entered the local saloon and each ordered a beer, except Sai, who was satisfied with water. The barman provider drinks as requested and then withdrew a small wooden box from, beneath, uh, from underneath the bar, asking us if we'd care to witness something real interesting. Considering that we still had quite a few hours left to travel, we politely declined and asked him if he knew the way to Shaggy Dog Cave. He replied that he had never been there personally, but gave us rough directions, which correlated nicely with the notes on our map. Oh, we talking to the bartender. Upon, le upon leaving the saloon, we discovered to our dismay that some unknown villain had tampered with our wagon. Fortunately, the only supplies missing were the butt four and the entire basket of eggs, apart from one that Doug had concealed within a pocket for safekeeping. We also discovered that the Doug had, had absconded with one of the horses, forcing Nate and Sai after a drawing of lots to share. The dog took a horse? After acquiring a barrel of fresh water for the trip, as well as a replacement butt for, we headed out into the open desert. The sun shone down mercilessly upon us, though we took small solace in the fact that it would have been far more intolerable had we made this expedition during the summer months, rather than November. In order to pass the time on the trip and resist becoming dazed from the heat and susceptible to desert mirages, we exchanged stories of our youth which I will not be retelling here for reasons of length. Oh, thank you. However, I will relate to you three odd occurrences that happened to us during our trek through the desert. The first was two or three hours out of dirt water when Nate noticed a glint of sunlight upon the metallic object partially buried in the sand. This was revealed to be a brass oil lamp of foreign design and manufacture, which fortuitously, fortuitously still contained a quantity of oil. Suddenly this might come in handy, we stashed it in the wagon with our other tools. Our next encounter was with a nomadic goblin tribesman, who we discovered spoke excellent English. It inquired as to our destination, and we replied that we were looking for Shaggy Dog Cave, though we did not disclose the reason for our journey. The goblin confirmed that we were heading on the correct course, and mentioned that he only had a short time he had only a short time earlier witnessed a large and shaggy dog riding a horse in the same direction. We all agreed that this was an unusual sight indeed, and continued on our way. Some time later, we encountered a large adobe hut, occupied by two identical-seeming old men with wild hair and long white beards. They invited us to take shelter from the heat, which we gratefully accepted, and introduced themselves as hermits. This struck me as peculiar, given that there were two of them, but I felt it would be rude to question them on that point. One of the hermits confirmed that we were near Shaggy Dog Cave, and the other hermit confirmed that what his brother said was true. They also commented that they had seen a large and shaggy dog riding a horse in that direction. We all agreed that this was an unusual sight indeed. The hermits refreshed our water supply in exchange for our butt for, and we continued on our way, excited to finally be nearing our goal. Speaking of nearing our goal... After two more hours, we finally arrived at Shaggy Dog Cave. Carefully keeping our excitement in check, lest we become incautious, we unloaded our equipment and supplies from the wagon and took a brief respite in the cool shade of the cave entrance. To celebrate our arrival, Doug unpocketed and shared the egg he had saved from our back basket that had been stolen in dirt water. Once we were rested, we decided the time had come to explore the cave. Discovering that we had neglected to pack torches, lanterns, or any other light source with which to illuminate the cave, we declared that it was indeed fortuitous that Nate had discovered that antique oil lamp during our travels. He gave the brass lamp he gave the brass a quick shine and then lit the wick, and we were relieved to discover that it lit easily and provided an, a very adequate amount of light. It's just going to be like a non-event story. As we headed into the cave, we were further encouraged by the fact that the floor was quite even and easy to traverse, and there were no side passages which might, which might cause us to become lost. Despite this, I resolved to hang a number of plaques to mark our progress through the cave, and engrave them with the tale of our journey, such that others who discover the cave after us might be entertained and edified by our story. Soon we came to the end of the tunnel. While Nate, Sai, and Doug took turns with the excavation, I completed the last of the aforementioned plaques. It was a matter of perhaps an hour before Sai's shovel struck a wooden surface with a hollow noise. We hauled the traditionally styled treasure chest out of the hole with great excitement. <coughs> Why is there such a big gap here? The chest was locked with an ancient and rusting iron pit padlock, which broke easily from a single swing of our pickaxe. We opened the lid slowly, and the flickering light of the antique oil lamp shone brilliantly upon jewels of every color and shiny ingots of precious metals, just as promised by the legend of Black Hole Jr. Joyce at our triumph, we loaded the chest into our wagon and began the journey home. Thank you for reading, and may our, your own endeavors be equally successful. Signed, Jim Plackright. 
is nothing. It's a hole. A completely empty hole. Alright. It was a it was a troll cave. Usually they, usually they live under bridges, but this one's in a cave. Not one of these piles. Is there really nothing to this Shaggy Dog Cave? Let me see. Because I think there's a West of Loathing wiki, right? Where I leave, just in case there's like a really clever... Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Master Cookery... Oh! Okay, so there is some stuff related to this, but I can't do it yet. There's items that I don't have and skills I don't have. Let's head back to Dirtwater and ask about that box, though. I guess I don't need to go... Let's wander first, just in case. You can an overturned wagon surrounded by ruined books and broken pairs of spectacles. It looks like a family of especially literate homesteaders met an untimely end here. Tragic. Advanced bean crap. Ooh! That sounds very helpful, actually. Perhaps I can learn a new thing? See what that book was. Uh, advanced Beancraft. New bean slinging skill. Ooh. Oh. That recipe has been scratched out and replaced with a bunch of paranoid, insane scrawlings. Gives wary a skill that increases your maximum AP. Chat about cooking bean dishes so small they have to be served intravenously. Blood beans regen health. Goes a chapter about making human sized or larger automatons and binding them to your will with. Bean golem? I'll take the bean golem, sir. You practice making servants out of beans until you're pretty good at it. Unfortunately, one of your earlier experiments gets a little rowdy and eats the book. Bad, bad golem. Ooh. That takes a lot to level up. Summons a small bean golem, summons a smallish bean golem. That could be good, because I don't use a lot of AP besides... Sir? You okay, buddy? I'm pretty sure my leg is broken, so no. What happened? Traffic accident? No, it just sort of broke all of a sudden. I guess I don't get enough vitamins or whatever. Good nutrition can be difficult in this day and age. I'm gonna need some medicine for this. Can you help me? Sure. Thank you. There's a mission up north. The nuns there run a little hospital and sell medical supplies. Can you give me some broken leg pills? Okay, coming up. Hey, about that box I read about. I heard you something interesting back there. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Maybe my info's too old. I found a note from some travelers that passed here th through here about eight years ago. Oh, yeah, that was the previous bartender. He had a little trick he used to offer to show people. It's what got him fired eventually. That senator's wife wasn't amused. He rummages around under the bar for a minute and blows the dust off a tiny piano, about nine inches tall. You can keep the piano, so long as you don't ask me about the trick. What? It's a miniature piano. It'd be the... Oh, did I read this? Yeah. It'd be about the right size for a foot-tall tickler of the ivories, but the winding key on the side seems to indicate it plays itself. Oh, okay. It replaces the background music. That's an odd thing. Alright, let's wander again. That last wander was very worth it. Oh, you spot the smoldering ruin of a ranch on the horizon. Stern's Ranch. Uh-oh. Hey, a needle. Hey, a needle. Hey, a needle. Oh, wee I ain't no expert, but this looks like a cow attack for sure. Watch. Does he have dialogue for every place you go? Watch your step, boss. Gorse? No. No comment from Gorse. Let's not go in the basement yet. Damn it, if only I had foraging. Between the smoke and the noise, you're guessing that the contents of the outhouse are more dangerous than the average outhouse contents. What? Oh, it's a cow! I have three action points. Alright, give me a shield. Give me a golem. Look at him! Mm. 
So does this boost my... No, just mine. It doesn't boost the golem's stats. Oh, golem has a lot of health! Oh, but I have no control over golem. Okay. I like that skill. That's fun. Maybe kill? Hey! A pyro bow. Toilet pistol. By the soft light of the fading embers, you see a glint of light from below. You hold your nose with one hand as you fish out your prize with the other. The outhouse is now safe as houses. Outhouses. Pistol? Stench damage instead of physical. Apply five poison. I don't really use my gun. Four to five damage. Three to four damage with poisons. We'll mess with that a little while, I think. Mary Stearns died. What? Flower smoking. Take it. Smoking chrysanthemum. Spell damage. Oh. Okay. Man, I wish I could sort things. Looks like Jethro's bones were dug up by some varmint or other. Charred locket. You should call it a locket on account of how it was lucky to escape that fire. Locket in this locket reminds the lock on this locket reminds you why they call a locket. Picture of Mary Stearns. A faded dagger type. Oh, is that like the silver prints of a little girl? The name Mary is written on the back. Photograph of a serious looking little girl. On the back is written Mary Stearns Thanksgiving 1894. Sad. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh! Oh, I just... Oh, so this is how, Okay, this is how you sort things. You use the right stick. I should have been paying attention. So this is... I only have one hat. Oh, so these are my two lapels. Spell damage or armor? I'll keep the armor for now. Pistols, melee weapons... Oh, actually, wait. The pickaxe does more. I'll take the pickaxe. Offhand things. Okay. Your rings! Your pants... I don't have any pants. Your foods. Oh, this is apparently a quest item. Okay. Oh, this is so much better. That gives Moxie. Hmm. I'll save it for when I get a new hat, at least. Okay, let's go in the house. It's a lockbox. True to his name, it's locked. Stock certificate. Oh, okay. I can. Whoa, I can sell for a lot, actually. I'll save until I actually need to buy things. Some beans in the pot. Blackened beans. Ooh, spell damage. Spell damage, good. All the books on the shelf are burned, but you know something strange about the book back of the shelf. Your deft fingers find a hidden catch, and the back panel of the shelf slides away to reveal a secret compartment. There's a book inside. Mary Stern's diary. A little girl's diary, browned a little around the edges, but otherwise untouched by the fire. The first page re says in a little girl's handwriting, this is Diary of Mary Stearns, the AI in Diary are crossed out and, and, and IA written above them. The Diary, oh this is the Dairy, got it. Diary starts out as typical kid stuff. You flip ahead until you notice the writing getting shakier. Found a dolly under a cactus out back and she told me her name was Grace. Mama and Papa don't believe me that she talks, they say I got a big imagination. Grace says the cows are going to get us, but Papa says we'll be okay because we're this weren't never a cow ranch. Grace says he's wrong, but Papa won't believe me. Grace says she can keep the cows away, but I have to play tea party with her. Uh-oh. I don't like this kind of tea party, but Grace says it's important to keep the cows away. Mama was sad that they couldn't find Effie. What, what happened to Effie? Papa says she's been gone so long... And they should put a cross up, but Mama won't let him because she thinks she'll come back. Papa said she's only 11. How far could she have gone? And Mama started crying again. Don't want to play tea party anymore, but Grace says I has to. Papa was out two days looking for Joey, but of course didn't find him. Mama cries so much. I tried to tell her him and Effie are keep helping keep the cows away, but she don't understand. I told Grace I'm not playing tea party again, but she says I gotta, and if I don't, cows will eat all three of us. She said either I get mom or papa to play, or else I gotta play by myself. That's the last entry. Oh, no! I'm sorry? 
The toy box contains a single object, a creepy burnt porcelain doll. It's the work of a moment to fix the doll's voice box. You pull the string. The doll's eyes roll back into its head and its mouth begins to move. Hi, I'm Grace. What's your name? None of your business, doll. Doll's head shakes back and forth violently. Hehe, <laughs> you're funny. You want to play with me? No. That's okay. Somebody else will come along soon. You're already dead anyway. Hehe, <laughs> doll goes silent. You sure as you realize that talking dolls have been invented yet? Spooky. Can I talk to it again? Okay. Pray, Mary used to play with me, but we didn't get to finish her tea party before she went away. Will you help me finish it? Surely. Pray, the game is almost over. Mary did such a great job. Good job. Doll's eyes roll back forward. Go downstairs and get my cup. Do you know the magic word to make the mean cow let you into a secret room? What is it? Peanut butter. Got it, peanut butter. I don't think I should give the doll that cup. Just the idea. More boards. What in the Sam Hill is that cow face a painting on the wall over there? Over there. So hoping you can tell me. Never seen this like. Gives me the willy something fierce, I can tell you that. You're no kidding. I don't have safe cracking. Oh. Ooh, I got those again. I can eat those now. Yeah. You eat the sausages, which vivi vivify your veins with the vigor of a Viennese... Viennese vampire. This is a can of stubby sausages made mostly out of blood, and a syrup that is also made mostly out of blood. So I guess when you sleep, it resets all your buffs. Sugar guns? This little gun-shaped candy is made with real gunpowder. What? Peanut butter. Oh. Atop this sinister-looking altar sits a copper goblet filled with what appears to be blood. I'm gonna destroy it. You don't know what this is, but you know it's abominable. You grab the goblet and smash against the altar. Everywhere the blood lands, cracks appear. The altar groans as it crumbles into ruin. And how? Yeah. No. I think. 61. Uh. Oh, I would like to level up the bean golem. Hmm. Let me save up so I can level up the Bean Golem. Pete, do you have something to say about this room? Yep, cow attack, all right. Them fiery skull things do a real number on an old farmhouse like this. It's strange all the bodies are buried outside. I doubt a cow would do that. Might be old graves from previous. More ways to die around here than cows. Oh, wait, so I guess she was keeping the cows at bay, but it sounded like she was killing people. Grace's eyes glow red. She must know what you did. You'll lose your regret this. Her mouth snaps shut and her eyelids close. Grace isn't speaking to you anymore. Okay, no big loss, I think. Let's wander a bit. Ooh, and then let's go to Desert House. You see a streak of fire blast across the sky and land just over the horizon. You ride to the site of the impact and find a meteor. Oh, pickaxe. Oh my lord! You pull out your pick and make short work and small rocks of the meat eor. We got a ooh, a lot of meat in Stardust. Unfortunately, your pick melts from the heat of the meteor. The heat eor. Oh no! But I needed that pick. Can I go to Dirt Water and buy a pick? Button Willows mixture. Oh yeah, let's go there. Maybe she'll have a pick. I'm do some shopping. You need anything? Trail mix? Nope. Old Pete's all fine and dandy. Hmm. Okay, it's a pretty straightforward location. Shelves laden with various goods. Various goods. This barrel smells like pickles and looks like an empty pickle barrel. At first you're excited because you think this is a barrel full of pickles, but they turn out to be novelty rubber pickles. So these are all the same. Over the back. The one behind the counter stares at you with a huge grin on her face. She gestures at the goods she's got for sale. <gasps> oh, I saw a hammer. <clears throat> Advanced Beancraft. Ooh. It's actually kind of cheap. What does the asterisk mean, I wonder? 
A lock? Mind your meat. Ooh. That might be worth it. <gasps> Pickaxe! Okay, I'm gonna buy this. And back out. And then read that. And then read that. <gasps> the dickering skill! You read the book from cover to cover and learn, among other things, that its cover price is way too high. After you're done reading it, use your newfound skills to pawn it off on a wide eye roof for 60 meat. Oh, neat. Okay. Oh, but I need to save this. I need a crystal now. Oh, it did. Well, that actually took, looks like it takes 10% off the prices. Hammer things. Okay. I'm not going to get that yet. I don't need that. Okay, give me the pickaxe. That's. Oh, wait, I can sell shit. Right. Um, okay, I can sell this. Right? Because that's all I need. Stuff that says just for selling, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm only going to sell things that say you should sell them. Okay. I'll have to come back for that hammer, but that was pretty good, I think. Yeah, I got my pickaxe back. So basically, that meteor... Meteor caused me a pickaxe, but allowed me to get that dickerin skill. What does that do besides just really cool effect? Oh, I can level that up? Oh, I should have done that earlier. All right, we'll upgrade the bean golem later. All right, I think that's enough for now, though. So thanks for joining me. Come back. I'll have the next stuff up real soon. But until then, bye.